Good morning from sunny Abu Dhabi. Yes! I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this since I came here back in 2010. And after seven long years, it's now open. So we're now going to one of the most awaited opening in museum history here in the Middle East. And you guessed it right, we're going to Louvre Abu Dhabi. Got the tickets online just for 60 dirhams. We are now inside the Louvre Museum and there are lots of people. We're excited to see it as well. We can get like iPads for 20 dirhams to have like an interactive guide. Then the line is too long. So I think we're just gonna read the descriptions and we're thinking about being a part of uh, the annual membership which is only for 1,500 dirhams and what you get is that uh, free admission for one year plus five of your friends or family members. We're finally inside the Louvre Abu Dhabi and I'm so stoked about it. This is the very first Louvre that we've been to. Paris would be next year hopefully and I can't wait to see all the artifacts in here. So the first hall that you come to when you're in the Louvre Abu Dhabi is the Grand Vestibule. So from here you can see that it's like a fusion of all cultures, like the themes for mothers, for cavaliers, for religion, everything. From China to the Middle East to Europe. Louvre Abu Dhabi is the very first museum in the Middle East which collects all variety of items from all religions, all cultures and all traditions and its theme is seeing humanity in a new way and that's what we're doing right now and it's, I think they're doing a pretty great job about it. First room here after the main vestib vestibule is dedicated to the first villages of humanity. There are like lots of jars, clay pots, cooking wares, weapons, ornaments which are like thousands of years old it's so amazing that until now we can still see them appreciate the works of humans who once walk on this on the face of the earth so this second gallery right here is dedicated to the world's first great powers the earliest empire such as the Egyptian Empire, the Greek Empire and there are so many I mean you can see the difference between the first gallery where it was like the first human settlements and then civilization became grander more sophisticated more artsy and you can see in the works how detailed they are how creativity evolves from something so simple something so unique and so beautiful. An actual ancient Egyptian sarcophagi. She's a princess, a daughter of one of the pharaohs. And the designs are exceptional. So detailed and so intricate. Here's one of the grandest sculptures that we've seen so far here in the Louvre and this guy is no other than one of the greatest pharaohs of Egypt, Ramses II, who is also believed to be the pharaoh at the time of Moses. If I'm not mistaken, that one is from the Ishtar Gate from Babylon. Over there, which I've been wanting to see for a really long time. of Alexander the Great, a world conqueror at the age of 20. So if you're like 20 now, think about what you can do because <laughs> he conquered most of the known world at that age. <laughs> I think these are the Fayum portraits.
Over here, if you're right, is the son of Constantine the Great, the guy who converted the Roman Empire into a Christian state. Here is the first Christian related item that we saw here in Louvre Abu Dhabi. It's a Roman sarcophagus with biblical scenes depicted, and I think the one in the middle is probably Jesus Christ. Wow. It gets better and better. We are in the second wing of the Louvre, Abu Dhabi, and this is about religious works, religious artifacts, the universal religions of the world. So here are the first Christian artifacts which actually show crosses here. And that one over there is actually contains a fragment of the true cross as said in the description. So this is the first time I saw two world religions together in one display shelf. This is a copy of the Quran and this is a Madonna and Child, a Christian and a Muslim symbol. To demonstrate the universality of faith and how it is respected here in Louvre Abu Dhabi. It's one great step. It's actually a milestone for a Middle Eastern museum and for Middle East as a whole to have all religious items under one roof. Funerary stele, a Muslim stele and a Jewish one. You can see it's written in Hebrew. And this one is from Saudi Arabia. We are now at the 5th gallery of the Louvre Abu Dhabi and it's all about Asian trade routes and exchanges in culture between the West and the East, between Islamic East and Christian West, Asia, Europe, Africa. We are now in the 6th gallery of the Louvre Abu Dhabi and now it's all about the relationship between the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. The development of trade routes between the Byzantine Empire, the Islamic Empire, and the discovery of the Americas by the Portuguese. It was the age of discovery and all of the relics here and artifacts are about that period in human history. Wow, this icon from Crete is really amazing. The colors, the gold leaf. And that tapestry over there is the largest tapestry I've ever seen. This is the first Renaissance period artwork we saw here in the loop. It's The Virgin and the Child by Giovanni Bellini. And the section right here is all about navigation, cosmography. It's a really huge globe. <clears throat> Some maps, navigational stuff. What's this? Old maps. This one here is a Tower of Babel painting and if you look closely, I'm not sure if you can see it. So very, very small details. Here's my finger and here are all the details. It's a beautiful piece of art. So here we are guys in the most awaited. This is the, my like, I have been looking forward for this section of the Louvre for a long time. And these are works from the period of the Renaissance which was basically from the 1400s to the 1600s. And I'm so excited to see because one of the best things to see here in Louvre Abu Dhabi is an artwork by the man himself, Leonardo da Vinci. And this is the artwork of da Vinci 
called The Portrait of a Woman, La Belle Ferronier, which was made between 1495 to 1499. And I need to take a photo with it. This is my first Da Vinci. <laughs> copy of one of the most famous ancient works, the Apollo Belvedere, and beside it is a statue of Augustus Caesar, the first Roman emperor. All over here are filled with armors, swords, even a full Japanese samurai armor, some daggers. This one over here, the samurai armor. We are at the 8th gallery of Louvre Abu Dhabi and it's all about the magnificence of monarchy from both the east and the west. Equestrian statues, paintings of monarchs. This one over here is by Nicolas Passan and this is the first time that I'm seeing a painting of his in person. For some of you who might know him or who are not familiar with him, he also painted that famous painting uh, that even in Arcadia Death Exists, made famous by the Da Vinci Code. The ninth gallery of the Louvre Abu Dhabi is all about the 18th century opulence of houses, of decorations, of portraits. And there's one painting here that I've been wanting to see all my life. This famous painting of Napoleon Bonaparte. Well, I can't believe it's here. It's by Jack Louis David. Amazing. I didn't expect it to see it. I didn't expect to see it here. Here is George Washington. Oh, this is Voltaire. He's a famous writer and philosopher, I think during the French Revolution. This is another first for me. This is a painting by Eugene Delacroix. I first knew him when I was in second year in middle school and now I'm seeing one of his works in person and it feels so amazing. Here's gallery number 10 and it's all about the modern world, 19th century industrialization. This is an Ottoman work. Here is one of the highlights of Louvre Abu Dhabi, self-portrait by Vincent van Gogh. You can see his signature brushwork. So amazing seeing one here. We just saw Vincent van Gogh work here. It's so amazing. Can't believe it. And here's Mr. Bean's Whistler Small. If you know, if you watched that episode when he just like retouched it. <laughs> it's all here. Cezanne! We have a Paul Cezanne here as well. And this one's here actually by Edward Degas or Degas. Oh my god, and we also have a Monet here. <laughs> Being in Louvre Abu Dhabi is a dream come true. All these paintings, all these artworks, all in one roof. And you don't even have to go to Europe for it. This annex is actually called Redan and Classical Art. 
No wonder his works are over here. Over here we are now coming into the modern art section of Abu Dhabi. And here are some sculptures. Oh, this is by Giacometti. Tall, slender figures. Here we have a Picasso in the modern art section of Louvre Abu Dhabi. It's a portrait of a woman. And then I think there are other artworks here. This is by Henri Matisse. Another famous artist. I can just go around this museum for like the whole day. Another Pablo Picasso here. Here's a, fa a famous Jackson Pollock. Number 26A, black and white. Here we are at Hall 12, dedicated to the global evolution of art, to communication, mass media. And really, it looks so modern. We are now underneath the famous dome of Louvre Abu Dhabi and it is terrific. Look at this. The dome was designed to be multi-layered so as to create an illusion of rains of light flowing through the museum itself. Amazing. And Louvre Abu Dhabi was designed to look like a traditional Arabic Medina or city. Underneath a foliage of palm trees. We are now heading to the cafe, the museum cafe. And we are heading towards a wonderful view. The Louvre Abu Dhabi is build, built on reclaimed land. So it basically it's an island over the Arabian Gulf. So here we are at the deck of the museum cafe. We have a wonderful view of the museum, the Arabian Gulf and the nearby city of Abu Dhabi. We are now ending the day here in Louvre Abu Dhabi. And overall, I think I'm gonna rate it the highest is 10, the lowest is 1. I think I'm gonna rate it like around 7 or 8. I mean, it's the first in the Middle East to have like a very tolerant, very universal museum. Yeah. No religions involved. It's like, it accepts everything, all cultures of the world in all aspects of history and that's a great thing actually in the development of like the openness of the Middle East and uh, the items inside are really nice I love the gallery 10, 9 and 11 with the paintings from the Renaissance, the modern ones and uh, sculptures and yeah, I think I'm gonna recommend it. So I can't wait for all the, the other developments because so, there are more structures in the museum which are still under construction. So I can't wait for that. So if you wanna experience Louvre without going to France, you can go here in the Louvre Abu Dhabi. So we are now here at the boutique of the Louvre Abu Dhabi. And there are like lots of items over here. I'm excited to shop. I think I might get a book. And if I find something more interesting, I might get that as well. Let's go.